Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are jumping on the rear brake drums of our 1974 Volkswagen Transporter bus. Um, last week we had announced our power plant. We are putting a Subaru 2.5 liter EJ25 into this bus. And so since we're gonna be powering it with twice as much horsepower that it came with from the factory, we need to make sure we are really good at stopping. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is on the back here, now, if you remember a few episodes ago, we had gone through all the tubs of parts and we had found a bunch of brake parts, a master cylinder, um, it looked like some brake shoes and some brake hardware and things like that, which was really optimistic, which makes me think that possibly someone had gone through these drums already and they had been replaced, just stuck the original drums on there and called it good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump on the passenger side first. That's gonna be the closest here. I've got the bus already lifted on jack stands. I've already got the wheel off. Um, we're gonna take a look at that. I'm really hoping that somebody's already been in here before, but I don't know. This is what happens when you buy a product from someone else that didn't finish it. So um, I've already ordered new drums, new shoes, uh, new hardware, and like the springs and things like that. So those are all brand new. Um, the only thing I didn't order was the adjusters, the little star wheels for the adjusters. I didn't order those. So I'm really hoping that that doesn't hold us up. But we're gonna find out. So first things first, let's take the drum off, if we can at all, and see what we're working with. First things first is I've been lubricating these bolts um, throughout the week. I'll come out and spray a little bit on there. So hopefully these will come out. These are 11 millimeter. Um, they just kind of retain the drum on there. All right. Um, next thing is I would normally go to the back and turn the adjusters back, um, but I've been filling around back here and um, yeah, they don't, they don't move. So uh, I hope that's not a bad sign, but uh, let's get this off. Now we gotta get serious. All right, now it's moving. There's a lot of debris that's already fallen out of this thing um, from wiggling this around. Uh, don't worry about the backing plate. We can always fix that. This little, you know, we'll, we'll fix this. But the good news is the drum is coming off. Cross your fingers. Will there have been brake work before? Definitely not. Well, let's take a closer look here. Well, I'll definitely say that nobody's been in here for quite some time with all the spider webs and those brake shoes are really thin. So let's take a look at these. Oh yeah, those are rock hard. I can't even move the lip of the wheel cylinder. You can see the dirt daubers in there, that's nice. But it looks like everything is in it, which is a good sign, but the brake shoes are really, really thin. Nice and quiet on the bearing, that's good. Yeah, nobody's been in here for uh, some time. Take a look at the drum. Now you can see where the brake shoes were stuck to the drum. Those have been like that for a while. Well, we were hopeful. I think that's really what matters, we were trying, but I'm glad we ordered all those parts. Let's just hope that the adjuster wheel on the bottom plays nice once we get this all taken out. Um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I think there's a retaining spring on the back side here. We're gonna get that retaining spring off. Hooks in right here. I'm gonna pull that off, and a lot of this should just kind of come off as one piece. We'll disconnect the handbrake cable. Um, and that comes in right there, here, it's that. Right there, that's your handbrake cable, and that attaches to the little lever here on the back to engage that parking brake. So, 
Let's get this taken off and cleaned out. A little bit of fighting on that one, but we had the spring on the bottom and this is what I just used a pair of locking pliers and sat here like that underneath and then the parking brake cable just releases from this hook here now this is the back side but it engages that hook and i just twist it around it all comes out as one piece this also helps us reassemble our new parts in order so what i'll use this as a mirror and i'll put our new parts beside it and make it look exactly the same we'll have to transfer over this this crossbar um, and the parking brake lever we'll bring these over and well, let's rivet it on we'll have to figure that out but we'll bring that over as well and then um, we'll clean all this up we'll replace our, our wheel cylinder which is locked solid then we get to start working on the star wheels here on the bottom and gonna soak those things down hopefully that the years of brake fluid sitting on it have kept it lubricated and not rusted but we're gonna get the wheel cylinder off and then take a little wire wheel and get all of this grime and gunk off of it and use brake clean for what it's actually for, cleaning the brake parts. So let's get this cleaned up and then we'll start reassembling our shoes. Well, we were able to clean up all this stuff in the back. Good news is there's brake fluid dripping out of the line. The light doesn't wash you out, but there is brake fluid dripping down on the ground there. Uh, so it means our rubber line up the chain is not clogged up, which is good because I did not order those, which we'll replace eventually anyway. I'm sure they'll bust as soon as we hit the brake pedal, but we're just gonna ignore that for now. We're gonna start getting these out. Um, we've got a pry bar, we're just gonna get it in between the teeth here. Oh, oh, no way. Oh, all right, that's one. Are we gonna get twice as lucky? Oh, looky there. I really thought that we were gonna fight this for like an hour and break them off. Oh, thank goodness. So, time to unscrew those and then, uh, we can start cleaning all these parts up that we're gonna reuse and uh, reassemble. All right, so we've got all of our nice new parts here. We've got the drum, new pads, new wheel cylinder, new springs, and there's some more parts in there that don't apply to our application, but they're in the bag. So we've got the new shoes. Um, they've got the same holes for them, the small retaining spring on the back. We've got to clean these up. The threads are pretty trash on this, so we've got to get those taken out and cleaned. Got the provision for the spring the retaining bar across the back. We've also got these holes at the top, which is for our parking brake here. So we're gonna have to get a little bolt um, and feed that through there, red lock tight it, and make sure that stays on there. Cause I really wanna take advantage of the handbrake, uh, especially as we're going traveling and camping and parking overnight in places, I don't want the bus to move at all. So we really wanna take advantage of that. Um, in case you don't know how wheel cylinders and drum brakes work, it's a really simple process. This sits in between here and there's just a hydraulic motion that pushes these out when you hit the pedal and it pushes the tops of the shoes outward and it grips on the inside of the drum and that's what makes you stop and as the pads wear down these adjusters on the bottom will slowly turn and these will take up the slack so the brakes are always tight um, and these springs just keep tension on that now normally there's a retaining um, pin here with these springs in the kit these thicker springs but our application doesn't have it on there so we don't have those but this is all we're going to be doing is taking these parts off making the same setup with our new set to look identical to our old set and take these bars off to make it match clean up everything you know make it look way better than this and getting it all cleaned up
we've got updates. Fighting it on the bench. Just, I'm gonna show you what I did because I was so in it that you wouldn't have seen anything, but I'm gonna show you step by step how I did it. So, I did it in here. So what I did is this actual, this um, parking brake lever right here. You can see it's got the two dots on it if the light doesn't wash out, how about that? So you can see that I have the lever in. It wasn't welded or anything. They just had these marks on there to kind of fatten it at the end so it'll still pivot. We've got the bar in there. The spring is behind. Kind of see the spring back there. And then we've got our adjusters cleaned up nice and free on there. We have those all the way in. And then we have to balance this out. But you can see one side is way extended and the other side is not. Gonna, there we go. Balance that out. So what we did is we attached the, the top part together. So the parking brake lever with this crossbar and the spring. So I attached that all together. And then I expanded it and wrapped it around the hub. And then I took this side. You have to kind of kink it in and get it into the adjusters and seat it. So once that side goes in, you're able to easily put this side into the adjuster. And then this part up top, all I did, uh, all I did was grab a little crowbar went through the notch here, across, went over, and went up and through into the groove here. So that's what I did. You would have been really hard to see it because um, I was just so in it that I would have been blocking it the whole time, but that's exactly how I did it. Um, everything is in there, nice and solid. So the next step is to put the drum on, go from the back side and start turning those adjusters. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna turn some of the adjusters on this side to see which side is to expand and shrink it. And then we'll be able to Put the drum on, our new one, turn those adjusters to where you can feel just a slight friction on there, and we'll know that one is set. Then we just have to do this all over again on the other side. So, great. I am very, very dirty, and this arm is even worse, but crawling around on all of that does not make it any easier. We got our other side on as well. We just got to get the adjusters taken care of on the back to take up a little bit of this. You want to hear a little bit of drag on these, but not too much because otherwise they'll really overheat. But we have got those on. Putting the handbrake cable does take uh, some patience. I've been fighting this thing for probably an hour. I'm getting that freaking uh, handbrake cable killing me. I want it, so I need to be patient and put it on there. But we finally got it on. The key was I got a pair of pliers like this grabbed the cable on the bottom and kind of kicked it forward and extended that as far as I could. Took a screwdriver and kind of hooked it around it and it made it work. You could also take off the top part of the wheel cylinder. So you take off the top part of the, the pad, uh, the brake shoe, and it'll release some slack towards that um, hook on the bottom for that handbrake cable. And that's what did it for me on this side, on the driver's side. So all taken care of. Um, the lines are all hooked up on the back, good to go, all taken care of, and already looking so much better. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. I've got a huge, huge, huge mess to clean up. There's more on the ground that you don't see, and uh, I desperately need to wash up because my wife is going to kill me. But we got our drums installed, and that's really important. Uh, we got those back brakes taken care of. I have never done drum brakes before, and so this was a learning process for me. Um, so it was nice to kind of try something new, get frustrated, but still figure it out, and that's the important part. Up next, we're gonna be dealing with our discs in the front. We have calipers in the front. I already had them off the car, um, and one set is really, really locked up. I have this an ultrasonic cleaner, putting air in it, trying to puff the cylinder um, for the rebuild kit and those things are just so in there. Um, eventually, I think this one, yeah, this one's already, oh, as it spills everywhere. But this one's cracking, as you can see, they're on the piston. So I just bit the bullet. Oh, gross, quick fluid. Uh, I bit the bullet on that and bought some new calipers, um, brand new OEM, Remand, whatever. They're, they're the same, that's what matters. So we're gonna just put on some new ones instead of fighting these to save a couple bucks. We do get about $35 for a core credit, so that helps. Um, but that's gonna be up in the next episode. The rotors are on back order. It's part of why we weren't able to take care of those tonight. 
but the good news is they're coming. I did get the tracking on it, so we'll be able to take care of those next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out the merch. We do still have some shirts and drink sleeves available. The drink sleeves are five bucks. Shirts only 15 and the black hides all the dirt, as you can tell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps the channel, helps us continue to work on this project and fund this horrible mess. So thank you guys so much. And until next time, we'll see you.